Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And it uh, looks like it could be an off and on soggy week as we have the first in a series of disturbances now moving across the southern plains. Quite a few clouds across the Oracle Tux. We do have a little bit of sunshine mixed in. Most of the area has stayed dry so far. But you can see we do have this area of uh, mainly rain south of Dallas. This, this could clip the southeastern half of the area and still a bit of rain is possible as far northwest as Shreveport. Let's show this to you with a look at uh, Robin Soyota Futurecast here. And again, a few spotty showers possible as we go through the evening. As we head into the nighttime hours tonight, any rain should wrap up fairly quickly. We will likely stay mostly cloudy across the vast majority of the Arklatex tonight. Tomorrow we will begin with lots of clouds. We will likely end with uh, quite a bit of sunshine. We will stay mostly clear across the area tomorrow night. And then Wednesday, another disturbance will begin to approach and we'll start to see the clouds increase Wednesday afternoon. Futurecast showing a few showers, very spotty possible over the northwest edge of the area late Wednesday. But most of the rain that we're going to see with the second disturbance is going to come probably Thanksgiving Thursday night into Black Friday. Here's a look at Robin Story to Futurecast. And as we progress our way into Wednesday night, you can see these showers increasing across the area. That rain will probably reach its peak as we go through Thanksgiving with the heaviest rain more than likely in the afternoon. And then we'll see that rain gradually begin to taper off from west to east Thursday night. Futurecast is keeping us dry for Friday, but other models do show us still a pretty good chance for some rain across the area for Friday. This is what we're watching. Again, uh, we have an area of low pressure which is going to be developing uh, to our west. You can see the uh, frontal system to our west. This is going to dive southward and until this moves through, uh, we will likely see the threat of rain continue. Now, another thing we'll have to keep an eye on is the main upper level disturbance as this could be the reason why some models indicating a continued chance of rain Friday. So here we are Wednesday. Chance of rain begins reaches its peak more than likely uh, Thursday afternoon for Thanksgiving. Notice the upper level low still well to our west as it approaches. If this model and other models similar are correct, we could still see some rain around the area Friday. And again, we should dry out as we move into Friday night. Uh, and then after that, uh, it's quite possible we can see another disturbance bring us another chance for some rain sometime towards the latter half of next week. But again, a decent amount of rainfall looking possible for Thanksgiving and Friday. This takes us through Thursday night here with Futurecast. And you can see it's showing a good solid inch of rain. It can be expected with uh, many locations perhaps receiving more than two inches of rain uh, with most of this falling again as we go through Thanksgiving and again Thursday night. So the forecast for tonight is looking uh, mostly cloudy. Any rain that we have across the area tonight should come to an end. Temperatures will be rather cold as we'll see lows in the 30s with some low 40s over the southern half of the area. Tomorrow, I expect morning clouds to give way to some sunshine as we become partly cloudy. It will be a nice cool tomorrow with highs in the low to middle 60s, 62 in Shreveport, 65 tomorrow in Texarkana, 63 degrees for the high temperature in Marshall. And your 10-day forecast shows for the first time in probably almost a couple weeks, we could be looking at highs close to 70. That will come towards the middle part of next week. You can see the likelihood of rain here for Thursday, Thanksgiving. That could linger into Friday. It's quite possible this 30% will go up. Can't run a leftover shower for Saturday. We'll dry out a couple days with another shot for some rain again towards the middle part of next week. And then the chilly air returns to close next week. So all in all, it does appear as if uh, any rain that we have across the area on this Monday should end, as we'll see the potential for some decent rain, a couple of inches of rain possible as we look ahead to Thanksgiving Day.